it's Apple Buff and welcome back to the channel and in this video we're gonna see how even you can change the virtual location of your iPhone instantly. So without further ado, let's roll the video. Well, in order to change the location of your iPhone, you need to make use of a software called AnyGo that comes from the house of iTool Lab. Well known for making easy to use and trustworthy softwares for iPhones, iPods and iPads. And talking about the software itself, the AnyGo software is a reliable and effective tool to change the virtual location of your iPhone instantly. The software is available for both Windows and Mac. And the link to the software is in the description down below, so don't forget to check that out. Once you install and run the software, click on start to get started. Next up, go ahead by connecting your iPhone to the PC so that the software recognizes it. Once it loads up, on the right you get to see other location changing modes that the software has to offer. In this video, I'll take you through all four of them. By using the first tool to change the location, all you need to do is just search the name of any country, any state and even the name of any city that you can think of. Just after you are done searching and selecting it, tap go. And as a result, you'll see the effect of change in location not only on your PC screen but also in the real-time location of your Snapchat map. Like previously, the map showed that I was in Dubai. And now the virtual location has moved to Las Vegas. So that's how it works. This tool helps one change location from point A to point B. And while using this tool along with your current location, you need to select one more location on the map for the software to take it as an endpoint. Once done, before you click go, you can play with some settings like change the loop number and even tick or untick the realistic speed option. Just after you click go, you will see the change in location happening from point A to point B, not only on your PC screen but also you can see the in-game character move in the same directional path. And also you can even adjust the speed of the movement, which will show an immediate effect. The third tool for spoofing the location is the multi-spot movement, which means that you can absolutely customize the route in real time. So from the point of start, just go ahead by tapping on different cities, lanes or countries in such a way that it creates a sort of route. And once you are done by creating a route, before you click go, as usual, you can play with certain settings like change the loop number and even tick or untick the realistic speed option. Lastly, click go. As a result, you'll not only see your iPhone's location getting changed, but also see the in-game character move in the same way, which is pretty cool. Moreover, increasing or decreasing the speed will show an immediate effect. Making use of this tool, you can make your avatar jump and teleport to next chosen location without searching for it. To make use of it, first off on the map you need to start tapping the places that not only you would like your avatar to teleport to but also so that the software takes it as one of the locations. Once done, tap go and here you will be prompted with a message. If you don't tick the box and tap go, you will have to change the location manually by tapping go again and again. And if you tick the box and then tap go, the location will change instantly after the avatar reaches the previous location. Using this tool, you can change the location freely. In this, you need to make use of the virtual joystick present on the bottom left corner of the screen to change the direction of your avatar. And you can not only first change the direction and still and then tap play, but also when you're in motion, you can make use of the virtual joystick to walk in any direction freely by tapping the little arrows. Just in case at any point of time, if you wish to get back to your default real life location, all you need to do is just tap the icon present over here and doing that will bring the device back to its real life location. And that's it. So with that being said, here's Apple Buff signing off. Catch you in the next one. Till then, peace.